All right, guys, I'm being a good steward of my single crab. He's coming alive. The water's boiling, and uh, we're going to make it do what it do. If I remember correctly, they get three minutes in the pot, and wifey and I are about to get about to eat crab. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to make it do what it do. Okay, guys, we're making good progress. The timer has started, or stopping, actually, and we got that beautiful red color that we get on a crab when it's done. So we're gonna get that bad baby up out of there and uh, not let it overcook. I'm trying to find some tongs, but I'm not having success. Wifey, do we have tongs that you know where they are? Right there, in this drawer. And if not, over in the other drawer. That thing gonna be wrong. You better watch that Hold knife. On. All right guys, we're gonna get it up out of here before it spoils. Ooh, look at that. Before it spoils? I mean, before it overcooks. <laughs> Ooh, that grease. Well, your ankle That's what it's supposed to look like. Ooh, baby, we're about to feast. <laughs> All right, later. <laughs> okay, guys, the verdict is in. Wifey had one of the claws, and she said it was, what, how was it? It was banging. It was banging. So to get in here, just in case you've never eaten. Full, actually. Yeah, she full off of that claw. So, claw. It was so big. It was so full of meat. <laughs> but uh, if you've never done this, I've actually already kind of cracked it. But underneath, when you're trying to get you know get into the crab, it's going to be in here like this. You actually pop it open like that, and you bring your thumb to the base like that, and you put your other thumb here, and you push like that to open it up. And when you open it up, it's kind of you know grungy. This part here you don't eat. This is what I, I I've heard people call it dead man or whatever. You don't eat this part. It's like a little gristle cartilage kind of thing. So you just Pull that off, in case you've never done this. Pull it off, and I know there's more than one way to do this, so don't let this be your only guide to eating you know, crab. And then once you get it like that, you can break it in half, because it's pretty, pretty soft. So you can just kind of fold it, crack it open like that. And then you have a half here, and then this is, this is where your meat is. The meat is in here like this, so what you can do like these legs, you can just kind of pull like that. Look at that. I'm gonna get that to wifey. Let me, I gotta watch you eat that. Hold on now. Okay. I want it so bad, I can't she just, even. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, wifey's gonna get this piece. I was being really silly about this, but uh, I think it was really worth bringing this one crab home. I mean, it really, it gave us the taste and um, took us back all the way back to our honeymoon when we were in um, Hilton Head and I was crabbing for crabs and I caught 10 and we had them for dinner. I was crabbing with that little boy. That's good stuff. Not going to lie. Do you remember that? I do. That little boy is probably like 30 He's years old now. Yeah. And I'm like 12. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Exactly. Exactly. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. But uh, that's how you clean and eat a crab if you ever get some. Be kind to the fish. And the crab. Okay, guys and girls, here's the aftermath of the crab. Wifey and I, we towed this up. We enjoyed it thoroughly. For, only, for it only to be one crab, I have to say, it was quite satisfying. Gave me the, just a very nostalgic kind of an experience with it. So, we made good. All right. Be kind to the fish and the crab.